Hi, this is Gregory of HughKnewIt.com. Welcome to another edition of the Hair Factory TV. Today I'm here with Shanika Terry, who is the Department Head of Hair for the upcoming VH1 biopic, Crazy Sexy Cool, the TLC story. Hi, Shanika. It's really good to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much for having us in your home today. And um, I can't wait to get downstairs to your private studio. This is where Shanika makes all of her hair magic happen. Is that right? That is correct. Oh, God. We're going to have so much fun getting all into the juice of it, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> all right. Now let's go. <laughs> All right, so we're down here in Shanika's private hair studio, and I have a ton of questions for you. But first off, I want to know, how did you get into the business? It was actually, it was a blessing. Um, I was working with a makeup artist in Dallas, Texas, on a lot of local magazines. Mm -hmm. And she got hired for a department head of makeup and hair for an independent film called Kings of the Evening. Mm -hmm. That starred Glenn Turnin. Tyson Beckford, Lynn Whitfield, mm -hmm. and just had an all-star cast, yeah. and um, also a black cast, just beautiful period piece. Very nice. And um, on that show, on that film, I became Lynn Whitfield's personal hairstylist. Nice. <laughs> and she took a liking to me, she believed in me, she knew I didn't know a thing about film. Mm -hmm. So all I knew how to do was do hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, from there, she was hired for um, an actress for a lead role in Mama I Wanna Sing. So when I was on that film, Kings of the Evening with her, she asked me to be her personal hairstylist mm -hmm. for Mama I Wanna Sing, which was my second film in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and um, from there, on that show, I built relationships with the department head of hair, which ended up being one of my mentors, mm -hmm. Joanne Stafford Cheney, and, um, and it just became a word of mouth thing. I built up more relationships with other people that were in the industry, because mm -hmm. at that time I wasn't in the union or anything. Yeah. I was just a hairstylist in Dallas, which is a neighboring, um, I forgot to give you this information, all of this was filmed mm -hmm. in Louisiana. Okay. okay. And I was in a neighboring state, which is Texas, you know, Dallas, mm -hmm. and it was a two and a half hour drive to Shreveport. Mm -hmm. People would come in to Shreveport, start on shows, and call me up to work on, you know, as an additional hairstylist on those shows. And before I knew, then a year later, I became a key hairstylist and just started moving up the ladder pretty Pretty fast. That's excellent. You networked yourself into a great position. Yeah. You really have. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so as, you know, like positions, everyone has a, you know, a specialty. What is yours in the care care business? Um, my specialty, I would say, is always, which is my passion, my love, is healthy hair. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> what, and, and healthy hair cutting and okay. like coloring, um, I love it. I love it. I love of course, my wigs. It, it, they all fall, um, fall under the same umbrella, but my main thing is healthy hair. Okay. Yes. All right, so on Crazy Sexy Cool, did you work with the director and the actresses themselves to come up with the looks, or what was that process like? That process, process was a beautiful process, I think. When I found out that I had the show, um, it was sitting in Dallas, and of course, doing the research. What better research can you have than to be in high school mm -hmm. during in, in junior high during the TLC era? So I was T boss in my Okay. Mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was T boss in my mind. Yeah. You know, and I got pictures to prove it. <laughs> but um I want to those by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is crazy. I got them upstairs, you'll okay. see them. But um, when I I did a lot of research and I got a chance to talk to the director, he told me you know the things that he wanted, what he wanted to live through the girls. And with that being said, I just sat down, and did a lot of homework in this thinking tank of a private salon, mm -hmm. and just pulled pictures and you know uh, talked to the actresses when I met them. Mm -hmm. um, I got a chance to see how I could take them from themselves. You know, Kiki Palmer, mm -hmm. Lil Mama, Andrew Sedora, and take them for what they are mm -hmm. into creating their characters. 
which is really, really, really fun mm -hmm. when you when the actors have the actresses have trust in you to, mm -hmm. to let you take them there without a fight. Okay. Yeah. It's a pretty easy process from what it sounds like. Yeah, it was it was pretty easy process. It mm -hmm. was a lot of um days that I went with only two hours of sleep. Oh my goodness. You look good. I'm too bad. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> so. But it was all worth it. Every time I see those girls jump in front of the camera, it just makes my heart melt. And yeah. it's like, it's unbelievable. So, That's beautiful. yeah, it was a good process. Um, so, I understand you use hair factory products on some of the girls. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Um, I did. Actually, we what we did for the character of, of Chili the Kiki, yeah. um, we used the hair. And Actually, her texture, as you can see, you know, when you're playing Chili, mm -hmm. everybody knows Chili for this, her long, beautiful locks, yes. and, you know, curly, they can go like wavy, but most of the time you see them curly wavy. Mm -hmm. So we chose um, a texture like this, the Milano curl, which is really nice and pretty. And when we did the, the, the texture on her, I was like, okay, it's a little cooler than what we wanted. Mm -hmm. So with that, I didn't have time to have any hair overnighted, mm -hmm. and I had to think quick. So I got a chance to go in and texturize the hair, the hair factory hair, with a um, little, little texturizer, so as you know what we do, and to, to, to knock out that wave, that curly pattern into like a nice loose wavy like this here. Mm -hmm. And it just, it, I got a chance to customize the hair with me doing that for the first time. I've colored hair factory hair before, but I've never got a chance to go in and texturize it. And when I did, I was very, very impressed on how beautiful the hair stayed intact. It was, you know, the integrity of the hair was still, it felt good. Mm -hmm. With my products that I used, it was like, you know what, thank you, Jesus. Everything worked out for what we needed for our characters, mm -hmm. you know? And, um, I did get a chance to use Hair Factory in the past on one of the actresses for Joel for Noise as well. Oh, you did? And, okay. um, it was a curlier texture like your, yours mm -hmm. that you have now. Yeah. But she wore it really short, just like, you know, a nice little natural do. Yeah. She wasn't, you know, nice and glammed up like you are. <laughs> but her character, you know, we, um, created like little buns and twists and stuff and mm -hmm. it just worked out perfect. And, um, I, I liked it and I didn't realize that it was her factory that we were getting for and she's like hey I got you know like this hair and I'm like yeah. oh, okay cool we mm -hmm. tried it out we tried it out and here yeah. we go <laughs> some good stuff it's, well, it's, it's nice nice hair well it sounds like you are a hair factory fan for life you know what yes yes as am I yeah, yeah, yeah. you got me right now yeah you got right now we're going to talk we'll revisit this yes. in 2020 <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, Janika, for sitting down with us here at Hair Factory TV, and um, I'm sure we'll be talking to you in the future. Yeah, definitely. Good luck to you in your future endeavors. Thank you. <laughs>